Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. Schools are always searching for effective ways to reach all students in their building. In Memphis, they've started a peer-to-peer -peer program to reach students. And that's our topic all this week on Dateline Schools and help explain the program. All this week, my guests include students Casey Suchulis and Sylvia Kovach, as well as Memphis high school teacher and program advisor, Tony Giancarlo. And, and Tony, what's your school's peer-to-peer -peer program? Explain that to us. Uh, basically, it's... Uh we have students that are assigned to uh, ASD students in the junior high, uh, and they go with them in a, in a specified hour, and they'll, you know, they do various things, help them with the homework, uh, make sure they're on task, uh, maybe organize their locker. Uh, it's just, it's for them to be there every, every day of the week for that hour uh, and to help them with whatever they need help with. So how did you bring this program to Memphis? It's actually a state curriculum. Uh, we looked into it last year. Uh, we actually went to a training um, and, and it's, it's something, we, we've been doing a lot of things here with giving back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I run a program through my leadership class, the, the Sting Project, where we go into the elementaries on Fridays, and we just, you know, help kids with whatever the teacher needs um, done over there, whether it's games or help with math or reading. Uh, and we were looking for something that was more of a one-on-one -on -one daily activity instead of just the Friday thing that we were doing already. So you said it's part of the curriculum, so do kids get credit for being part of this peer-to-peer -peer program? Yes, they get a, a credit. It's an elective credit, um, and it's a pass-fail option. So as long as they're doing the work and they do what's required, um, yeah, but they do get high school credit, yes. How many kids do you have in the program? Uh, we have at currently 29 running through my section of it, and then Chris Meldrum runs another section, uh, which I believe he has 30. Wow. So 59 total right now. That uh, meet your, or beat your expectations that you had when you started this in the fall? Yeah, it's grown uh, tremendously. We had 14 kids uh, first semester, uh, and then I think the word just spread, and kids are looking for something else to do during the school day uh, to make, you know, and it's, it's become, you know, and we envision it going even further down the road. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Hunt.